good, peeps? This is me. My first ride. A Jixxer 750 back in 2006. Really loved the power of that bike. And this is the crew that really helped me understand what that bike could do. We did track days, hung out on bike nights, hung out down in Royal Oak. Great group of guys. A couple trips down to the Dragon. No wrecks on my part. But just really learned how to ride and really started to learn what I liked about motorcycling. I love the speed, but I also love the cruising. I like to go to different locations and cities and meet different people and see what their love of motorcycling brought to them. I started to get more into the cruiser crowd, but I couldn't let go of the speed yet. This picture here, me and my brother were going down to rip up Triple Nickel down in South Ohio. That K1200S had a great combination of power and speed. But I really liked cruising more and I was really enjoying myself more on the rides than just getting to the destinations. Then I found it. The Suzuki M109R. This big torquey beast that you could cruise comfortably on or slay some corners when you wanted to. It was perfect. And unbeknownst to me, at the same day I picked this baby up, my godbrother was doing the same thing 400 miles away. He also had been researching the M109R. And it was just a really strange coincidence that on the same day, we were going after the same bike without even talking to each other. He picked up a modded one, which was my first initial into modding my bike up. I lowered it, added air ride lights, and all that interaction, getting those parts, led me to meet these group of guys, the Chi-Town Niners. Great group of guys that mod bikes, ride them hard and fast, and like to travel. Did I say travel? There's a shot of me and Scorp up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. He was my partner when I developed a vision of what I wanted my 109 to look like and what it turned out to be. I turned it from by hater to Invictus. And man, does this thing sharp. It was a lot of work getting it to where it was. It was the fourth exhaust I put on it. The third set of air cleaners. Second set of rims. But of course, even when modding, back to traveling. Chicago, Blue Hills Parkway, MAM events. Oh, I love to ride. Through attending many of the riding events that I went to, Circle City in Indianapolis, Bikes on the Bricks in Flint, and the Mid-Atlantic meet, MAM, that I really started to take note of the social circle that riding the M109R had brought me into. The Mid-Atlantic meet, otherwise known as MAM, a huge gathering of M109R owners from all circles of life from all over the country. Crazy group of guys from various backgrounds, man. You wouldn't believe it. The conversations we have, the camaraderie is formed. It's just a great time of riding, eating, and having a sip here and there afterwards. Great people, even better rides.
show me a corner, and in my mind, I'm back on that Jixer at Groton coming out of the bus stop. I just love the corners, and the beast, not too bad at handling. As you can see, we love having a good time, and the occasional joke is played here or there. I gotta tell you, I can't remember what we were laughing so hard about in that Suburban. But I do remember I laughed so hard I had to pull over because I got lightheaded. The fellowship among us is just incredible. As an analogy of the selective operation of our senses and mind, whereby certain things in the world are picked out as significant according to certain game rules. The game that we are playing.
much as I love to ride the nine, I always struggled with that whole music in the helmet, communication from, you know, bike to bike. That was always just something that never was smooth. Sometimes it would take me away from enjoying the scenery. Sometimes it would keep me from enjoying the ride. Sometimes you just need that music to drown out the exhaust after you've been on the highway for a few hours. Either way, I struggled with it a little bit. And while I enjoyed the ride and enjoyed the company, my mind started to wonder about what it would be like to have something that's a little bit more on the cruiser side. But I still didn't want to lose the power. So I started really wondering about air-cooled V-twins. But those concerns were trivial, and I continued to rack up the miles and the memories with my friends. I gotta mention this clip. This piece of road here, the Moonshiner 28, was just an awesome ride. I would love to rip this one up by myself. Um, it just was great for a group ride. It was a good pace, but really, would just really like to go aggressive at this one.
So as you can see, I've done a lot with my nine. It's taken me all over the eastern United States. It's taken me places I never thought I'd go see and met people that I've never met without uh, riding on a nine. But I've always had that nagging, air-cooled American V-twin rumble. So I rented one, Street Glide, once and rode down the Pacific Coast Highway and enjoyed it. But it just wasn't right for me. So my search continued, and I think I found exactly what I was looking for. I decided to pull the trigger on the Chieftain Dark Horse, get the big boar kit, and promptly took it down to the Dragon to ring it out, and had a blast. Rode with some of the same nine gang that I've been riding with in years past, and it did very well. All the power I wanted, and great handling. Didn't change the relationships that I have, or the travels that I take. And I still rode the nine. To a few shows here and there, Muskegon, Hot Rods and Handlebars. I still have very fond memories of Indianapolis and the light shows the Chi-Town Niners put on. Riding in Blue Hills Parkway and the Memorial Day trips with various other friends in Halo Nation. The wonderful trip we had to welcome some of our veterans back from Afghanistan. And the bonds that still are strong with people that I've met through the Nine. But now I'm on the dark horse. And the Nine hasn't had much riding lately. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. But until then, if you see this coming in your mirror, you best get in the right lane. Ride safe and remember, look twice and save a life. Peace.